name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So <clears throat> I'm waiting for my medical cannabis delivery uh, from the delivery service I've been ordering from lately. Um, this is part two. If you didn't catch part one, please do. Um, just, just call this moved in now what, I guess. Uh, <laughs> part whatever, I don't know. I'll have the titles up there and you'll know what it's called because I don't know yet. <laughs> but I'm a little delirious from not getting enough sleep, um, being rudely awakened by uh, renovations and constructions in this apartment complex is getting on my fucking nerves. I'm about to load up a joint that I rolled, um, and it's rolled from Sugar Shake. So, um, Sugar Shake is little tiny buds, leaves, and stems. Take the stems aside, make stem tea. You can take the buds and leaves and grind it up and make it into a joint. And it's just as potent as smoking just regular buds sometimes. So, and this is the stuff that I get that's on discount, um, that's on sale at the medical delivery, um, dispensary that I, um, ordered from. Price went up on it, though. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> If you watch part one, you know I just got back from a walk. If you like nature videos, check out part one. It's about as nature is going to get for a bit around here. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, the price went up on the sugar shake that I buy. It was $20 an ounce, now it's $30 an ounce. So it's just it's expensive to live, really. Um, probably no matter where you are. But especially here in California. I just got a phone call from my uh, the delivery guy, so he's going to be here pretty soon to drop off my delivery. So I'm not going to make this a long part two, but um, I've been having some hellacious times lately, and it's not easy. I mean, it's not easy being a medical cannabis patient, uh, having the conditions I do, not being able to get any assistance because... Um, whatever fuck reason, I guess I could try again and fill out the papers and forms and all that all over again and see if they will take me seriously about what's going on with me. Um, uh, it's been hard to be able to function financially because we only have one income with my husband working. He recently got a raise and all that and moved to another store and made manager, but he doesn't really make that much more than he did when he was working at the other store. It's the same company, but different store location. So we're going to have to find a place to move that's closer because the drive from where we live now to his new location is a lot further than it was before. It's not as close as the one he used to work at. It's not, yeah, so now we're looking in that area where he got, um, I'm getting these notifications on my phone, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, he uh, we're gonna he's gonna pay more for gas to commute back and forth there from here. So we're gonna have to <clears throat> find a place to live that's there. The only thing about that location is it just seems really expensive. Um, he said that he, my husband said that he found a few places um, that he might be interested in looking at. So oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's getting really serious to get the fuck out of here because it's just non-stop renovations. I woke up to hearing drilling sounds up ahead. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, and a lot of banging and constantly. There's no way you can totally rest uh, fully here because if it isn't the renovation noises, it's also the stuff out outside, people breaking out in the fights and crazy shit just going on all the time. Well, not all the time, but there is a lull in it. Thankfully, it's not all day long and all night long, but it's just like the noise that does occur. It really shakes me up and disturbs my my sleeping patterns and, and my day, <laughs> you know. If I didn't have cannabis to partake in, I'd probably be a wreck right now. Just constant construction noises and these smells that erupt from the construction 
and as it is, my phone and my internet service doesn't work that satisfactorily. My my son, he has his computer too, and his computer hasn't been able to uh, stay online uh, consistently because I think I'm just guessing it's a lot of these renovations with all everything being banged around and stuff. I've been trying to make time to call cable, but I haven't. By the time I try to call cable, my phone isn't charged, or it's just all kinds of crazy shits going on. And I know we're edging closer to Mercury retrograde. Uh, Mercury retrograde, I believe, starts on the 17th. So um, all the new things, projects you want to start, you better start them now. <laughs> because Mercury retrograde isn't that forgiving if you're starting something new when it's in full effect. So um, I'll talk to you guys more about Mercury retrograde in another video um, coming up soon. Might even just try to get ahead of it and do it early. Uh, but yeah, and I'll probably do a video tomorrow for Valentine's Day to, um, I want to just talk about the history of uh, St. Valentine's and all that kind of shit tomorrow. So that's going to be planned for tomorrow. Look forward to that. I just, I'm just waiting for my medicine and I just want to chill today. And if I can, <laughs> you know, I just want at least one day to chill a week, but sometimes it just does not happen that way. Um. Yeah, I had had I'd made some edibles last night. I made some uh, sugar cookies with cashews in it, cashew bits in it, and a little bit of lemon juice, kind of a lemon sugar cookie with nuts in it, and it was really good. And I ate those last night before I went to bed and smoked a nice sized joint last night. And I was having some health problems before I went to bed, which I won't get into. It was really uh, some really serious uh, physical problems. But I smoked like almost all the joint and it was helped me to alleviate the pain so I can go to sleep. I've got a lot of things going on with me that I don't talk about other than the arthritis in my knees and ankles and um, PTSD and social anxiety. I've got a lot of different things going on and all those are attributed to stress uh, mainly, I would have to say, you know, and <clears throat> it's living in a stressful environment, making it hard to cope. I'm trying to adapt to a lot of the things that are going on in my environment, but uh, it's been challenging, to say the least. I just want to be able to um, find a nice place to settle down in and uh, have some land, a house, I love land to grow all the herbs and fruits and vegetables that I want and enough to share. And that's basically what I want to do. Um, but I can't get there without the funds to do it. So if you guys want to donate to this channel, um, feel free to do it through my Google Pay and through my PayPal. And I can, in exchange for your donations, I can create a video for you based on a topic that you want to see discussed on this channel through research and everything or I can make you a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for showing appreciation for donating to this channel you don't have to donate a whole bunch you can even donate a buck or two bucks and um, I'll save up that money also to help with funding for an actual camera or for actual art supplies and things of that nature or for an actual maybe trip to a dispensary I don't know I can't promise that because I don't know how most dispensaries are these days with having things videotaped where they're at, so um, we'll see. But um, yeah, it's been a really crazy ride. Um, I'm glad I've had cannabis to help me, but it's been so expensive. I was talking to this guy that I follow on Facebook for a while, and I was telling him, he was asking me, I'm, are you planning on moving? And I'm like, well, probably I am going to move, but I can't move out of the state because I can't afford to up and move out of the state right now. I have to figure out all the cost expenses that are involved in that. And first of all, the location of where I would move to. And jobs, you know what I mean? You can't just hop up and just leave unless you have an unlimited amount of funds to do so. So anyway, that's all I got for part two here. I'm feeling really frustrated and... I'm feeling really tired because I didn't get enough sleep. What I'll 
probably do is just wait for my medicine to get here and then chill out and work on a, a art project I've been working on for quite a while. Um, the Bob Marley um, Festival Bag. And if you haven't seen that, check out um, videos, past videos where I talk about it. And um, working on creative things helps me to calm down from the stresses of the day. If I focus in too much on all this stressful stuff that I can't do anything about, then things get worse for me. So if I take time out and just take my mind away from all that, then I can totally uh, reduce my stress level and bring down my heart rate. So, um, and I just got through doing a really uh, fast walk. It usually it used to take me an hour to get from here to where I need to go um, when I was going to do my errand. Uh, but now it takes me only a half an hour. So, um, not that I'm bragging about that, but it seems like my speed's gotten up. But I can only do that walking like that, that fast, with the help of cannabis. Um, otherwise, it would be so much excruciating pain. And I know there's a lot of things that I can do other than cannabis, which I am doing, incorporating. So this isn't a forum for me to, like, hey, I need help. I don't need help as far as that goes. I don't need help with diet. I don't need help with all that. What I need help with is financially, through um, donations to help us get out of here. I mean, because it's ridiculous. I can't even, I can't even find a job um, that I can do right now to help bring in more extra money. I just can't. I haven't been able to. I've been applying for so many different jobs, um, thinking, you know, this person's going to contact me, but you know, you just don't know. So it's not like I'm not trying, and I'm not like just sitting on my laurels. I'm actually trying. So <clears throat> that's all we can do each and every day. Keep keep doing what we're doing and doing it with good intentions and yeah that's that's what I've been doing <laughs> so yeah uh, thanks for joining me today and catch part one please <laughs> and yeah thank you for subscribing to my channel everyone and all thank you for uh liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family and thank you for your kind comments leave your comments down below if if you have uh, if you're going through this <laughs> you're going through that like you're living somewhere you don't want to live but you don't know where to move to <laughs> i mean it's just frustrating it's all it's all hell i mean um people tell me maybe some people were telling me you should check out the south and um i have been doing that it's just just Raising funds to actually move to another place is easier than it sounds. Things just get keep getting more and more expensive here in California. And it's because I feel like ever since cannabis became legalized, I mean recreationally, on the state level here, that's when things started getting really, uh-oh, I'll get that in a bit. That's when things got really expensive here, and it keeps getting more and more expensive. I've seen $85 for an eighth of bud here at a lot of places, and just ex extremely high prices. I'm ready to get skedaddle on out of here because it seems like it's not going to get any better. So, anyway, with that said, uh, regardless, I do have an optimistic outlook on what's going to happen next with me and my family. I just feel frustrated because things don't seem to be falling into place. Um, but uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and good things will happen. I know they will. It's just frustrating when you're low on sleep and you're frustrated with uh, where you live, your environment. So that's it. Thank you for joining me today. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and you can also check out my Etsy shop, too, as well as my big cartel. I've got some art up on there, so. Thank you for all the love and support you guys have given me throughout however long you've been supporting me, whoever is out there. I really appreciate it. I am appreciative of what I do have 
and thankful for what and grateful for what I have. But I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting more than what I have. So, and if somebody tells you that there's something wrong with that, then just ignore them because there's nothing wrong with wanting more for in life for yourself to live a life that feels good, not a life that feels like misery and drudgery. So. That's it. Once again, brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.